I brought tissues today. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Directions Idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Stephanie. Sorry, it was... She... Did you say, I'm Stephanie? I didn't hear you. Yes, yeah, she did. Sorry. Oh, hi. Right. I'm Rick. And uh, we are on to episode, what is it, seven? Yes, episode seven, seven of Made in Heaven. That rhymed. Um, and what happened to the last one? Did uh, our, our lead? Freddy's coming he, for you. Oh, I'm sorry. He got home right, and the his neighbor was like, "I'm so, I'm sorry, and uh, I'm I'm brave. you're brave. I shouldn't have videotaped you in your room having sex." Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> I've been Essentially yeah. Was. Basically, he was gay his whole life, and um, he's never come out. Because uh, he was scared, and yeah. I guess, I guess that makes up for filming him for having sex and sending him to jail. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been it's since episode three. It's been great. Like well, the first two have done not that they were bad. It's just we've been real invested since episode three on. I feel right. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Um, so care, uh, care a lot about these characters and care about what they represent because they represent this everything we've seen is representative of this happening to countless numbers of people yeah um, this one's yeah. called a royal affair and I don't know if that mm. means a royal wedding or a royal wedding with an affair um, so probably that one though double knowing this entendre show. Probably that one knowing this show. Um, so I wonder, I wonder if there's been a softball pitcher named Tondra, and she threw a pitch that resulted in a double, and then it was a double on Tondra. <laughs> that would have killed me. Three, two, one. Are you counting down? Just it's... Uh, Oh, wow. Really, uh, sir? Wow. Starting it off like this, are we? Destroyed her home. She destroyed mine. It was a mistake. Fucking my husband is not a mistake. It's a choice. Exactly. Do you even consider how it would reflect on the family? Wow. At the end of the day, class just fucking shows wow. up, doesn't it? <gasps> Slap him and leave. Oh. Well, she should never have been with him to hear this in the first place. Right next time before letting your jots show. Wow. Okay, well, what, you shouldn't still be in that house right now. She shouldn't have been with him from the get-go. Like, if that doesn't make you leave him... I mean, it, obviously, everything else should have already made her leave him. But, like, right. if what he just said to you <laughs> means he has zero respect for you. <laughs> and he cheated on you. So, like... Yeah, exactly. Talk about an opening scene that'll just get, yeah. you, get you mad right away. <laughs> He's so Seriously. mad. But, also... Uh, one, they're both great, but I I really appreciate his his portrayal of that character because I genuinely felt that he was like upset with her in that moment. I I don't agree with him that he should be upset with her. <laughs> What's she doing? Well, there's this thing in sexual relations, Corbin, called oral sex. What? Yeah, they actually do things with their mouth on the genitals of the person they're attracted to. We should try that sometime. <laughs> wow. She's giving me a mug toward of evil. Nice. Sorry, sorry. Ruko, Ruko, please! Yeah, something's not right in there. What's going on in there should not be going on in there. <laughs> You need to get your shit together. <laughs> oh, go woman. It's pompous ass. Vivi. How can you? 
उसे खुश रख बेटा वो जब घर आए तो उसे उसे प्यार दे उसके कितनी मेहनिया लगानी पड़ेगी तुझे दो लाख कमाने के लिए What are you for real? मेरी बात मानो मंजूर मंजूर मगम्बो चुश हुआ so she's not this progressive Ooh. little uh little person huh she's actually a liar and an awful person kafa karenge kuch idea hai tum bolo ko kuch kar sakti thi tum he's doing such a great job in the show mm-hmm. everybody is <laughs> especially our leads though they're doing a great job mm-hmm. leads are carrying it because she's been the other woman before. Yeah. Why do they have their security footage on there? Office mujhe chhodna padega. Meri reputation kharab hogi. This is for you. to sleep. Hmm? I say again. Why are you with him? Seriously, it's maddening. I get it. You did the same thing, but does it mean you can't get out still? <laughs> like beautiful. Jeez. Wow. <gasps> Were we there? Wow. Is Rick? that the place? I think that's the place, Corbin. It definitely looked like it. It sure did. Ready. Give her a smooch. Vijay Ross. I know the hand. <laughs> Good call. Mm. <laughs> what are you? Great yeah. line. Yes. Oh. Hands, legs, dick, or corpse. I, I don't. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't prepared for VJ Ross's answers. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good. Like he doesn't need anything. He's just. Yeah. Just so good. We have reports that you've molested the man Diwali at your son's wedding. Yes. What are your comments on that? I want to file a PI against Article Three Seven Seven. You want to file a public interest litigation? Yeah. Can I do it tomorrow? Hmm. Is that how it was uh, changed by people doing that? I don't know. I hope. I hope so. I don't know. That's like one of the actually first like happy endings we've had. Normally it ends on like something yeah. more um sad happening or something awful happening. <laughs> this is one of the first ones that ended yeah, kind of yeah. happy even though I mean that 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 um what yeah, I don't know if he's a If he's a prince, that would make him a king. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Whatever the guy that molested the girl was, uh, that got asked the question, which is great. But the unfortunate thing is, we know how what happens to powerful people when they molest people. Uh, nothing. Um, so that's that's unfortunate because now we're not. He's not actually. Nothing's actually going to happen to him if you go by what happens in the world. Um, but i like that he at least got asked the question and a seed was planted in everybody's planted. mind of who he is yeah. but another really good episode yeah it was really good what did you guys think yeah i really enjoyed it um really happy for my two favorite characters jazz and the cameraman yeah super cute <laughs> yeah. we got we got a love moment <laughs> super cute Um it was a really good episode. I'm I'm really enjoying learning more about um Karan and the boy and um 
where all that's gonna go and what we're gonna find out. Cause I'm sure that the boys were not nice. Um, yeah. Uh, but I, I think that Faiza and Adil should be together forever because they're terrible people and <laughs> <laughs> they're just <laughs> terrible. Um, yeah, she's yeah. going. She's going through stuff right now, man. It's like obviously in her head. I mean, I think they've actually done it very well, showing why she's doing the actions she's doing. Because obviously she was, she was in the exact same situation. Because she was the other person, and so she went through mm-hmm. all of this stuff just on the other side of it. And so now she's just stand. I, I God, I hope this show doesn't end with her just like. Is staying with him and just being yeah, set, settling that would just be so I mean to be realistic because yeah. like we've talked that happens all the time mm-hmm. um, it's just I feel like that character is stronger than that you know I feel I do like all yeah. the parallels that carry through this entire episode with um, him telling her that everyone has their price and then there was the um, shot of her father-in-law, her now father-in-law, offering her money, and um, how she said she couldn't judge Pooja for taking the money because she's a woman and yeah. women do different things in different parts of their lives and who they are as people and their circumstance and everything and it's it's true like. Though I feel like women tend to excuse things for women because we do typically live in a world where we are trampled on a bit. And so it's it's something that it's easy for us to do to, you know, just step aside and, okay, I'll take the money because what else am I going to do? Yeah. Or whatever the circumstance is. Yeah. So, I. It yeah. Was a very good episode. And I, I appreciate. I mean, we've talked about the screenwriting, and it still needs to be talked about because it is so good. But I also appreciate the things that they're doing, visually that tell pictures without, you know, because a picture paints a thousand words. There was a shot, in in this episode that reminded me of a recent episode of Handmaid's Tale where a picture paints a thousand words and it was just the one shot the way they framed it i guarantee it was intentional where you saw um um arjun on the bed and it wasn't just a shot of him in the bed he was half the frame and the bed was empty Mm -hmm. and it was just conveying what we saw in that last episode that he still feels alone um he wasn't just having a flashback we were also looking at the fact that he still feels alone yeah. Uh, I thought that was a really, really powerful framing for that for that shot, and they just continue to impress. And there's a beautiful symmetry with the directors. It's because of the great writing, where every episode kind of feels like it was directed by the same director. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh, the the writing's so good because you can so good. All these situations, for the most part, you can see not all of them. But for the most part, the ones that are, you know, worthy of seeing both sides. You can see both sides of the dilemmas that everyone's having in, in whatever yes. situation they're in. Um, and that's that's the testament of good, uh, good writing. Because, like, if it's bad writing, you're just like, okay, obviously they're doing that because this character is just, it's bad. You know, they're going to do this. You know, they're g- and obviously, obviously they were going to do this. There was, they were never going to do this other thing or whatever. But it's it's just so good and so honest and so real. Mm-hmm. Um, it's mm-hmm. it's wonderful, and I want to. Uh, who's the, who's our who's all who's our adulterer? Jim is that his name? Yeah. Yes, Jim. Who's just been obviously so good. he's so good. I want to see so much more of him because everything we've seen him in, it's all been small, but he's been so good. Um, yep. But he this character, it's not a likable character. No. Obviously, no, not not at all. He's probably no. the most disliked character in the whole show, I'd imagine, like except for like the rapists and and and, and other yes. ones like that. But he plays it honestly. He doesn't 
Yes. He's not playing it like, you know, a, a terrible guy who's just, uh, I'm, a, I'm an adult, even though he, you know, he is a dick and he is awful and all this stuff, but he's playing it very genuinely. Yeah, he's not like, a I believe he 100% as an actor found his truth in this character and he's yes. justifying all these things that he's saying and he genuinely believes <laughs> what he's saying and like that he's he's not wrong he already said sorry why is she getting upset she's cleared showing her class god that was awful um but he's playing it so genuine not just like villainous um no i would love yeah i'd love to talk to him about whether he already knew this beforehand because he's an experienced actor, which is my supposition. I, gu- I guarantee he's theater trained. I, he seems theater trained. Uh, yeah, gu- gu- guarantee it. And I, I, I'm sure Zoya reinforced it that this is a great example of not judging your character. Yeah. Because that's why, that's why he's making this guy still believable and not a hollow, just negative person. Because he's he's as much of an pompous ass he is yeah he's a human being he's yeah. he's a full full fledged rounded out human being and the other thing too that's so maddening is you see these things and it looks so crystal clear as to what the person should do and that's easy to say when you're outside of it because when you're in the middle of something like that you'd be shocked at what deception can do to you and you'd be shocked at the things that you would agree to in those circumstances that you in a million years would have said i never 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 would have done that and then you turn around and you go holy crap i freaking did that you know as it's just it's so well done yeah it's a beautiful picture of the human condition Mm -hmm. it's yeah it really is and that's a great Great way to say that because I've talked about how when I watch Deadpool, it's about broken people. I think that's a great way to summarize this show thus far. That it's a really good picture of the human condition, not just in India, just in general, uh, across the board. Yeah, everybody across the board, and yeah, um, carried by all of our leads because obviously all the actors have been really good. There hasn't really been a a bad actor yet, but great casting, especially by our our our. Th- I mean, even Kulki included, obviously. You know, we love Kulki. But, like, Jim, Sorbita, and Arjun are are, are carrying this show so well. Um, but, yeah, everyone is... Every casting uniformly is, is exceptional. It reminds me of how exceptional the casting was in Breaking Bad. Because, like, someone in a small role like Pooja, she was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely believable, that, Did- that character who had that one small role in this episode there has been no false moment looks like she's worked with her quite a bit uh the casting director because she worked over there on gully boy as well well so. they they pick them they pick them right mm-hmm. yeah casting is a unsung uh, thing i don't know what i was trying to say there uh <laughs> an unsung thing did you not know hey, oh my. hey you casting directors what you do it's an unsung thing right there. <laughs> profound it's profound <laughs> well yeah that was very very good um and I, oh god I, can't, I think I forgot to say it at the beginning uh I hope you enjoyed it but if you'd like to see our full uncut reactions uh you can head over to Patreon uh, I think I forgot to say that in the beginning. Obviously, I can only use five minutes of the cut-up, which is what you saw if you're on YouTube right now. Um, I, you should all know, but I feel like there's people that jump into random episodes, and then you're like, why is it cut up? And this is why. Uh, but if you'd like to see <laughs> our full uncut reactions, you can head over to Patreon. What uh, do they do, Corbin? They say, yeah. oh, let's go. <laughs> uh, head over to Patreon. Uh, and see all those. We always get an influx of new Patreon babies when we drop new shows. So hi to thank you to all of you new beautiful Patreon babies. Uh, and on to the next episode. Just.